everything I know about Australia either came from Paul Hogan or Steve Irwin. Trying to get away from the whole Crocodile Dundee idea of what Australia is, I've been looking at things beyond that. Netflix has been a big help because there's so much more Australian content uh, media on Netflix than there's gonna be just on television. The only thing that you are gonna find is Australia's Deadliest. And I have watched all of those shows. And I am thoroughly convinced that everything in Australia wants to kill you. Everything, doesn't matter what they are. The fuzzy, cute little koala bears are vicious little fuckers. I don't even wanna be anywhere near them. Uh, kangaroos, even more dangerous. They don't understand cars, and there are no fences. And, well, they hop. The next show that I have been watching is Aussie Gold Hunters. I don't know why, uh, it's just, it was there, and it said Australia in the title. What I do like about watching these shows, while I may not be that into them, uh, or care about the subject matter, what it is helping me do is it takes a story and starts putting it places and showing you on the maps exactly where uh, the people in the story are. The third show that I've been watching and I've saved the best for last is Outback Truckers. I love this show. It's one of those guilty pleasure shows like my wife's Real Housewives of Topeka or wherever they are now. It also gives me a really great understanding of the distances that are actually involved in Australia. People don't realize how hugely huge, if you're from America, bigly, uh, Australia really is. I mean, from Alice Springs to Darwin is almost a thousand miles. It's, I think it's like 950 or 980 miles. That is the distance from Detroit, Michigan to Tampa, Florida without any major cities. And you've got a few stops where you can get some fuel and maybe a sandwich, but you're not gonna see one McDonald's along the way for almost a thousand miles. It's just baffling how big this country is. And I'm loving that Outback Trucker show, but there's only like three seasons on Netflix. And I know there's been like five. So hurry up Netflix. I need more of that because these guys are just great. I don't think I've ever heard anybody say fucking ruse so many times as in the later episodes. Uh, it also gives you a really good idea about road trains. And I didn't know about these things. I had no idea road trains existed and they are scary. Because I was thinking of taking this truck with me to Australia and now I don't want to. I'm not going to be trying to drive around a road train in a left-hand drive truck. So hopefully I can find my truck, which is a Chevy Colorado, and we'll just get to the right-hand drive side. And I'm just going to be a lion on the front instead of a bow tie. It's the same truck. Right now this video is at like 12 minutes. I'm going to get this done in like four. But I talked about Outback Truckers for way too long.